I still think that you should go and visit your father, Alex, Diana said, straightening out her dress, the burn of pleasure from the quickie still coursing through her body as she watched Alex pulling up his jeans. Nope, right now I have more important things to do. Can you imagine that when I was arrested, the poor bastard did not even bother to come and check on me? Not even when I was arraigned in court or when I was in prison, Alex said bitterly, as Diana tried to imagine the sort of experience that he had been through. Well, at least now you have me, and I think it's time for you to bury the past, since it does not always hold memorable thoughts, she said, as he pulled her into his arms, his hands circling her waist as he reeled her in. Somehow, Diana knew that she would never be able to get enough of Alex, and just his touch had made her burning for him all over again. And yet they had just made love twice in the back of the office, on the desk of all places. That was something that she would never have dared to do in her life before she met Alex. But with him, she somehow lost her inhibition, and she would let him make love to her in the middle of Times Square if he asked her. Do you have any plans for the day? Because... I really wouldn't mind you sticking around the store with me, you know, she asked, her nipples pebbling in her dress against his chest. If I hang around you today, I don't think that we will sell anything, since I can't seem to keep my hands off you. I met with a couple of guys earlier on, and they would like me to help them set up a biking club. They are a couple of good folks, and I'm pretty sure that we could have something good going between us, he said, pulling away from her as Diana took a hold of his hand and led him to the front of the store. Hey, I don't see the diamond bracelet anywhere. Don't tell me that you already sold it. I almost forgot to bring it out. It is in the safe in the office. I'll bring it out as soon as I'm done with the cleaning in here, she said to him. What if I told you that I could get you a buyer sooner than you blink? He asked, his eyes glittering as she searched them to see if he was serious. I still have my contacts in the jewelry industry, and most of them go for the best and most expensive pieces. You are not pulling my leg, are you? Diana asked, looking at him. Absolutely not, honey. I'm darn serious. And to prove it to you, I'm going to have it sold by tomorrow at a much higher rate than you're asking for. Alex winked at Diana as she felt her heart do a jig of joy. Everything in her life suddenly seemed to be going like it was supposed to, and even much better. Her reconciliation with Alex in the office had been the best reconciliation of her life, one that evoked pleasures and emotions mixed together. She could still feel the aftermath of his hardness inside her slit, and it made her tremble to think that the cock was going to be hers for the rest of their lives. Now to add to the fact that Alex was in her life to stay was the fact that he was finally going to sell the most valuable asset in her crystal-fine vintage jewel store. That meant that she, sorry, she and Alex, would now be able to expand the business. She could picture just how proud her mother would be of her accomplishment when she came by. Well, show me what you got. It's about high time that we got rid of that bracelet. We can now expand the store, and I heard that there's an upcoming sale of some valuable pieces in Paris very soon. It is top secret. And I stumbled upon it entirely by mistake from the guy who wanted to outbid me for the bracelet at the auction, Diana said, imagining that she had never thought that she would actually make it to the Paris sale, since she would never have the sort of money to buy the pieces of jewelry there. When is the auction? Because if it's very soon, we have a lot of work to do getting rid of all the valuable jewelry in here. It should be in five days' time. Do you think we can hit that target? She breathed excitedly as she dusted one of the glass counters. We should have enough money to purchase enough jewelry by then. Just sit back, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. I'm going to make this worth your while, Alex said checking himself out in his reflection in one of the mirrored walls in the store before walking over to Diana and giving her a peck on the cheek. I've got to go. There's stuff that I have to do. I'll pick you up for dinner. Oh, no, don't tell me that I'm not going to see you the whole day. How am I supposed to survive? Diana sulked as she walked him to the door. I might be back sooner than you think.